The Assistant Commissioner of Police says his achievement can also be a challenge to other police personnel to pursue their dreams. Chief Superintendent Peter Guinness says policemen and women can continue their education while serving as a police officer. Uh, we will see, yes, you know, there is, there is nothing stopping them from pursuing their studies. They can uh, pursue their studies at the tertiary levels, at the university levels and go on. We already have a doctor who is a police officer in Port Mosby. And uh, there are not so many of us with a master's degree. There are a good number of uh, senior police officers, uh, serving police officers with, with master's degree. And I am also one of them now. We'll uh, add on to uh, the number of uh, current officers that we who, who possess uh, uh, master, uh, master degrees. Guinness further states this is something the RPNGC is looking at to encourage officers. The RPNGC is also working with the Australian Federal Police to sponsor officers through the Work One Time program. And I was uh, fortunate enough to be sponsored by the Australian Federal Police to come here to undertake this study. And apart from myself, uh, there is a senior inspector, Josephine Kumai. She also gradu graduated with a, uh, with a bachelor's uh, degree in, uh, in management. And it was all sponsored by the Australian Fe Federal Police through the Work One Time program. Through the training and program officers undertake, our PNGC can be able to make some changes within the organization to improve on the day-to-day -day programs the organization is faced with. Yes, it now sees a way forward for police officers to change. We have had a lot of problems within the organization, particularly uh, there is issues of uh, uh, violence against uh, women. We also have that in the organization, uh, police brutality and all that. So within those kind of training and the courses that we've gone through and within the system, we can then be able to change, make some changes in the, uh, within the organization to improve. RPNGC has a training program at the police headquarters HR that is responsible to sponsoring members in tertiary institutions, not only at Divine World University, but other institutions around the country. But also at uh, the University of PNG, and uh, I am sure there are a couple of our guys also studying at the Unitech. Another senior Papua New Guinean who graduated yesterday with a bachelor's degree in public administration is the Chief Fire Officer, Chief Superintendent Bill Rue. Rue says it is in the fire service plans to encourage officers to continue their studies and develop human resources. Particularly when the government is uh, looking at empowering uh, human resource and uh, the prosperity of uh, each of the agencies to human empowerment. Um, uh, I have a diploma, uh, two diploma uh, in running the organization, but this will add value. Yesterday marks the 38th graduation for the university, which attracted parents, relatives and the public who came to witness the occasion. The keynote speaker for the graduation was the Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, Mr. Bruce Davis. Martha Lewis, National and TV News, Medang.